remember this, the minute John Kerry won Iowa in 2004, everything changed for him nationally. The party just kind of lined up behind him because they wanted to unify and they wanted to beat Bush. And I think that dynamic that we saw way back then, it's something to keep in mind when we get closer to the caucus day early next year. Now, another thing is, of course, the whole issue of abortion and how that relates to Joe Biden. Uh, Kimberly, they were in the field through Wednesday. It was Wednesday that our own Heidi Brispola's report first broke, that story that he uh, had supported the Hyde Amendment They've all, in one way or another, voted for the Hyde Amendment because it's been in so many of these big reconciliation bills. But he actually voiced support for the Hyde Amendment. Right. For the federal ban on money for abortions, for right. federal funds. Right. And then fl he flipped on Thursday night and did it rather awkwardly in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. And the poll had closed by then. So right. that's not, that won't be reflected in this poll. It's not reflected in this poll, but it's a great example about how Joe Biden does not necessarily, his policies and positions don't fit with the current Democratic Party the way that it did before. I mean, we saw Steve talk about uh, the 04 election. It's reminded me a little bit of 08, too, where Hillary Clinton came out. She was a front runner, but it soon became very clear that the voters were interested in a new voice, in a new idea, in new things. And that's how Barack Obama, who was deemed unelectable in the beginning when he entered the race, sort of came ahead and, and surpassed her. And I think you're seeing that happening to both Joe Biden and Bernie Sanders as people begin to listen to Elizabeth Warren, Kamala Harris, Pete Buttigieg. They are realizing that these are these align, these folks align a little bit more with what I'm looking for. Joe Biden may not be in that lane. And so while he's still a front runner because of his name recognition and things will change and uh, could change in, in California, South Carolina, but in Iowa, this is a big red flag for his campaign. Now, of course, South Carolina, when they 